दर्शन प्रारंभ होता हो उत्पन्न है वो यहाँ पे पूरे साल में अपने तरफ से उनको अवैध सोच सम और वो इधर से दिल से और वो वो लगता है नहीं जाना Your Excellency, right on up with the knee, head your hand. Your hand away, don't stop. Your hand away, don't stop. You also welcome Sir Maswa in our way here. PDP Chairman about the Senate Government. Yeah, welcome. We can get seated, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 No one For you. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, our very patriotic son, Professor Anani. Mage Kadoko and Gomo Nyemri. The President General. Of our communities, where we say, Paris and Siwa, and when you should be saying around them, the senior brother of San Paroji, our darling sister, the golden girl, the new Woji, the new Woji. Game we are the game master that we are favourite. When the police are at the table, manage your work. I don't go to the gym after that game. Our sister, she might do one. I can't make a never. Come and show me the Olympic gold medal. The Olympic gold medal man. How good can you say both hands? All the same thing. She is at the same level with you say. You say get it. So now man, no. Engineer here is the Nigerian flag. We go to one eye. We go to Tapion and all rights. Our respected traditional rulers. Ndeze. Ndozo. Nde chief. Nde mwa lambise. Nde gana prof uko nolona. We say policy around them. No more corruption, no more corruption. They want no. They want no. Initiative and your leadership is focused on empowering the same people. By doing this, we continue to expand the business and political frontiers of our homeland. I commend the executive program leaders and members of the State Policy Roundtable for your dedication to our cause. And I commend our APEX organization, as we assume we say, for accepting this roundtable in our curriculum as partners. As in the as we assume to do, I got a headache as if the policy round table and opposition group. This summit could not have been better times. The theme which captures four critical elements of contemporary life in UBC, namely agriculture, youth employment, economic prosperity, and security is very apt. Mr. Chairman, Given the relevance of each of the four thematic areas highlighted above to our collective well-being and economic renaissance of the nation, we cannot afford to reduce 
this summit the main workshop. While a strictly academic exercise may assuage and indeed massage the ego of the elite, it will add no real value to the lives of the ordinary disabled, most of who are in desperate search for viable economic and investment models that will improve their lot. The success of this year's summit will therefore be measured not by the loudness of applause to the presentations, by the array of accomplished professionals we have assembled here today, but the real deliverables, which should include the quality of actionable templates we develop to engage in the sales. It will be measured by how economically impactful these activities will be in boosting security, agribusiness, and general economic growth going forward. From an official population of 304,338 in 1991 census, our three local government areas, namely Abo, Ayaz, and Eslik, they now have a combined population projected at over 1 million who live in our limited land area measured only 404 square kilometers. Oh, yeah, man. I go vote. Vote in your Deka, Bob Adola Hiroshima. I go a Haneti, Ululu, how the man go on the money have to vote in the guy. We are densely populated. We are a very enlightened people. We are very educated people. And I am an Ahindaito. The resulting population density of over 2,475 persons per square kilometer is far in excess of 1,400, which is the average for Igbo states. Average Igbo state is 1,400. And Igbo is one of the most densely populated states in the country. 2,475 persons per square meter, almost two times. In the this is far reaching and it has its implications. Plans to reposition agriculture in the business for rapid and sustainable growth must therefore frontally address some fundamental challenges that often discourage many prospective investors. This includes limited arable land. Two, most of our communities, with the exception of Amoa, Ife, Udo, Opis, Amozo, and Ovo, and a few others that are blessed with the tributaries of Imo River, are without rivers and streams necessary for irrigation and year round agricultural production. Three, over cultivation, poor conservation, and revenue flows have resulted in rapid decline in soil fertility and subsequently no farm productivity. Ebe Katan John is late, and I have land tenure on heritage system still encourage land fragmentation for commercial production. Kembe in or December, Ebe Jibar, Makani, and other communities. For them, we don't need that. I talk enough for, I for the Megane, oh God. I didn't want that there, Megiko, Ubu. It's a very major impediment to agricultural development. Given the relatively low capacity of farmers and price takers, who can hardly adjust speedily to annual fluctuations in both commodity production and seasonal prices. The cost of higher labor is disproportionately high in most parts of the business, forcing commercial farmers and farms and other projects to source most of their seasonal workforce for neighboring local government areas, even from other states. Mr. Chairman, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, your highnesses, for too long, we say people have viewed agriculture through the prism of subsistence farming. Its associated risks, crude implications, and poor yields. While the rest of humanity moved on with various virtual discoveries to enhance the productivity and income of the average farmer, have we not argued amongst ourselves whether fertilizers destroy the texture of our soil? 
whether to plant palm seedlings for Malaysia, Costa Rica, or Nigeria's NIFO? Have we not remained undecided on whether to cut down or retain the wild and aged palm trees that litter our entire land? For too long, our family has revolved largely around the food preferences of our immediate families and local markets, unconsciously stunting the entrepreneurial drive of our farmers and denying them reasonable incomes and profits that result from rapid urbanization, rising income, and an explosion in the demand by urban dwellers for a variety of agricultural products. Mr. Chairman, haven't we for too long depended on other geographical zones for staple foods such as beans, rice, Irish potato, onions, cabbage, Cameroon pepper, ginger, it is which are actually produced. In an age where the world has achieved reasonable stability in food production, have we not continued to use shortage of arable land as an animal? Participation of the sales in agriculture. It is heartwarming that over 75% of Nigeria's population, which of course includes Mbise, is under the age of 35. We must harness the potentials of these demographic assets. Mbise youths are likely very adventurous, innovative, and tech savvy. They are responsive to the opportunities offered by our digital economy as they optimize various electronic gadgets at their disposal to build a credible network, access valuable information real time, make and receive payments, and transact business business. We must quickly introduce them to the use of high quality seeds, fertilizers, crops, and livestock protection products, education facilities in addition to environmental reconditioning and biosecurity strategies and good management. We set up a technical transfer committee. And that report was a major stop committee. The report captured the gaps in agricultural value chains and revealed the extent of the game. My surprise you to know that it was the self sufficient in only one agricultural product, which is power. All other products. The movie is 75% are sourced from outside the states. In the case of rice, we are about 95% efficient. But we found out that rice can grow no more. But what are we doing as a state? Rice, we might be able to our rice is now no more. And I'm happy to say that today, those women who took in and trade. I can make a rice, and with the employee company to be left with us, a lot of government would have done for them. We have to provide them with good infrastructure, and other things. Um, we don't just have them to buy, pay, and buy, and pay. We set up a formal team with two business sons in our team. Within our first 100 days, we have secured assistance from other internationally reputed experts in order to digest our reports and develop the most states agricultural roadmap of the document. The document highlighted some details, the steps that should be taken, including investments that we must make as a state. We had begun to discuss with communities, then we came here and there are several markets, especially under the anchor programs program of the Central Bank of Nigeria. Happily, many of the youths have kept our vision alive. Practicing agriculture within the limits of their personal resources. The current level of unemployment among the youth in our land, our business, and across the state has driven many of them out of town and some of them into crime, which is most unfortunate. A number of them into Engodrog, Ugrumri. You don't have time for drug. If you are gainfully employed, you will be doing drugs. Why do you not have a stadium? Sign and a stadium in each of the seven local governments. Then I call Hako Han, I say, I don't hate the stadium. I'm going to say that about the richest people in the world, 
on the bar football and the boss. The journal of Messi, Maronado, Major Bohemi. And I mean, we have abundant talents. So what we thought was that I develop a stadium in every local government area. And so we asked the sports commission to develop a program where they were going from, from you were playing when you were team up there, where they were, they were to go from local government to local government to homes for talents. I am on stadium. I am a football field. I am a team handball. I am a team basketball. I am a team tennis. I am a Make no bad matter. Got one of these. You must find something that will attract you, that will take your time. And the sports council was to engage people in every local government area for the purpose of this talent hunt. Today, I to fly. What has happened to those projects we started? Not yet, not yet. What is going on with the money? It's going to be a local government. So, have you asked what has happened to your resources? It's going to be a national stadium. The person that is running my house. A 28 room office capacity. Madam, tell me, 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 you must rule by the will of your of your what? Oh, Hannah, is it? Is that not good? No, you must leave leave root in God. All of them are hold job before the mind. I will let no mind and do not ask them to share. All you must do, my where is the new space? Oh, no. I am the secretary. Prof, we finished that secretary in five months. About the guy has over 400 seating capacity hall. 400. A way an upper floor that sits 50 executive people, a chairman. Office chairman, 28 number offices. So that when they get there, I say, wait, I don't know. I can go to the government man, because I was not still in the government funds. You will see where the money was coming to. I feel like I got moon. I got in. I now run. I now run here now. Secretary. I now run a stadium. The boys are in the room. I get my work contract. Two contracts from. Upper branch to a higher junction, first phase. Second was the group of six. And I did this. When they drew me away, they said it was negative. And they said it was negative. I got into the first. Well, they didn't actually know who going to go. And that's why we got a lot of people that was people who were going to go. President General. The president of the book. I Fourth, how do you do that? Fourth, how do you do that? 
So this summit of us as today's leaders and entrepreneurs, intellectuals who are assembled here under the auspices of the same policy roundtable, a unique opportunity to strengthen the program. In the end the when I was chief of the House of Reps and then the speaker, chief of the law and the law of the law of as chief of the law of the law of the law of the of the law 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 of the as chief cook, can the rules of chief for every cost of papa from New York, Gaba, Ibeg, straight to Tapo? But the rules of the those rules are still summit. As the speaker, I began in the selling road 59 kilometers and now 16 kilometers. And I was not to work it as well. As chief of the half of West, I got the federal government to put in a project of 5 kilometers from over the land. Federal government awarded at the cost of 3.5 billion. Tell them what else have they done? Oh, my God, I got it. 